William Gerard Stevens. I'm Detective Campbell. Thank you for meeting with me today. Like I had a choice. Okay, then let's cut to the chase. Our team have been going over some of the finer points of the cases against you. And I've been looking into trying to discover the bodies of one of your particular victims. This will put the family at ease. Why am I here? No security cameras, no guard, just the two of us. Sitting so close together. Look, I'm trying to bring peace to people's lives. Your cooperation would help the family and me to do my job. Now I'm trying to discover the location of the body of Joshua Henderson. Could you give me some clues as to where to start looking? Joshua Henderson. Which one is he again? Joshua was abducted from Geelong in February of 2003. Can you tell me where you took him after you abducted him? Mm. I remember him. See, the thing is, Detective, I never forget a face. You like fishing? No. That's a shame. You see, to me, fishing is like an exercise of the mind. In order to catch the biggest prey lurking down there beneath the water, you've got to be smarter, faster, more vigilant. You've got to become biggest fish in the lake. And to do that, you've got to think like the other fish. You've always got to be one step ahead of your target. That way, you can just reel them in. In your analogy, you're actually much more like a reptile lurking in other people's territory, hostile and surrounded by your prey. That's rather condescending, detective. This kid, Josh, he reminds me a lot of the very first boy. He was the one that made me realise how special boys can be. He was the one that made me think of things that others would deem inappropriate. In the springtime, I'd taken this boy with his younger brother and his mother camping to the Grampians. Oh, it was great. Big adventure. And then one morning, I took the boy away. We went over a little hill down to a, a reservoir. The sun was glistening off the, off the ripples of the water on the lake. It was just so serene. And that boy, wow. Oh. It's just like Joshua, you know? Same. Smile, full blue eyes, soft, delicate hair, and the best thing of all, he did every single thing that I demanded. The Muramura Reservoir. Why don't you start looking for uh, Josh there, okay? Thank you, Mr. Stevens. I believe I have everything that I need in order to start. If you'll excuse me. Sam, we were right. It's him. I'm certain. Trust me. I've been thinking about that boy while you've been away, that first boy. 
I'm pretty sure he was a bastard child with a mother who was bloody hopeless, couldn't take care of him. He was a feisty little fucker sometimes. I think what he needed was probably a good punch in the teeth to shut him up. Anyway, one day his mother decided that he needed some proper discipline, so she arranged for him to join the army. We were just starting to hit it off. It was all right because his little brother was there, Sam. Sammy. Sammy was a worthy substitute, listened, and the best thing of all, he didn't squeal every fucking time. <laughs> Oh, 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 yes, that training with the army helped a bit, didn't it? It worked. He brought me down here into this little room to kill me. Is that the idea? Hey, come on, stick a light in there. Come on, do you? Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Frankie. Yeah, yeah, you were the only one that had used to fight back, you know that? The problem was, Frank, you was too weak, weren't you? To try and get away from me, I always had the upper hand, didn't I? Oh. Gee, this is getting interesting, isn't it? This is getting interesting. Oh, yeah. This is bringing back the old times. Now, just give me a moment, Frank. Yeah. So nice of you to invite me here, but this were a man to trust. Come here. Yeah. He got what he deserves, Sam. 